Canva released an amazing responsive website builder that lets you design and publish a one-page website live to the web. I'm going to show you how I create an entire portfolio website in a few minutes. Stay for the whole video because there are some hidden features and tricks in here that really no other site builder I know of has, and I'm going to show you how to use them. So you can start out by heading over to canva.com slash website dash builder, and you'll need an account. So do create one using the link in the description below. So here inside of Canva, we're going to start by clicking on the purple button in the top right that says create a design. And then in the search bar, we'll just type in website and I'm just going to click on the first result. Okay, so now our canvas opens up with our one page to start with. On the left side, you'll see templates. This is the place that I recommend starting. You can look through all of these different page sections that you can add. So right now I want to create the portfolio website and I'm gonna look for a good hero to start off my page with. You'll notice some tags at the top. I'm gonna click on portfolio to filter just the portfolio styles and I'm sort of just browsing here and this looks like a pretty cool hero section. So I'm going to add this to my page. Now this style also has six other pages, but really I think they should have called this sections because it is a single page website. So you really do need to think of these quote unquote pages as sections. So I'm going to add this hero section because I really think it's cool and I'm going to show you how I customize it. So just like any other WYSIWYG or text editor, you just select the text box, you highlight it, and now you can type in there and change things. The toolbar is up at the top that lets you change the font and the sizing and the attributes of the text. I'm also going to add in some subtext here. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I do want to change the colors and the fonts a bit. I think it would be fun to have kind of a marker handwritten type of font. So I'm going to come over here to my toolbar. Um, there are also some tags here and you can select one to bring up a number of fonts. Now I'm going to adjust this again, tighten this spacing here just by selecting this text box. When it turns purple, you can drag on the handles on the side to resize it. So now I want to keep adding some more sections and building out this page. I can add another one of these pages in the same style, or I can head back over and browse through some of these templates. I can also click on the layout section, and now you can browse for these different sections of layouts. I think I want something to kind of show who I work with and my, my main three services. So I might choose something like this. I'm going to click on this and now it's going to ask me if I want to add a new template um, as a new page and what they really mean is as a new section so just keep that in mind I think they're still working on updating some of this terminology the other way I can do it is just grab it and drag it directly onto the canvas and you'll see this purple line that comes up between sections and you can just let go and drop it there now if you want to delete a section you can do that here just hover the section and this little left sidebar panel will come up with some options and then you can delete that and you can also reorder the sections with these little arrows so I can put that on top and now my heroes on the bottom vice versa if you decide to reorder things later when you select this section it will select the background and then you can just hit delete on your keyboard and that will remove that image and I'll show you how we can add some other images back there in a second but right now I'm just going to maybe change the color of this background these um, boxes here are pretty square as you can see the edges are square if I wanted rounded corner boxes I would just go ahead and delete these and what you'll want to do is select the elements and then you'll want to go to lines and shapes and then see all and you want to scroll past the first set of shapes and go to other shape and usually in the second row about the the second from the last shape it's kind of a nice subtle roundness unfortunately you can't individually and independently control the border radius on these um, rectangles so you'll just have to pick one that's you know kind of nice and that suits your design and then i can go ahead and copy this i'm just holding down option as I click and drag. Okay, so that looks pretty cool. If you want to lengthen or decrease the height of these sections, you just click on that purple tab that's in between the page sections and then you can just easily drag it up and drag it down just like that. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm going to highlight all of these elements and just move these up a bit and I'm going to change this text here. 
So I want to spice this up a little bit. I want to add some graphical elements. So I'm going to go back to the main elements section here. So you can browse through all of these collections of shapes that are categorized. There are tons of free illustrations and drawings and graphics. I'm going to browse through my recently used ones, some things that I've starred. I love this abstract organic stack of elements here. So I'm going to drop that in. I'm going to resize it. And I'm just going to put it here, kind of like using it like an icon. And you'll notice when it's selected, you can click on the color palette here and individually tweak these colors. So we'll do that in a second. We'll get to colors and styles in a minute. But I'm going to add two more of these that are kind of abstract. You can see on the bottom of any of these shapes, uh, the bounding border has a little rotation icon so that you can rotate it and change it and resize it. That looks pretty cool. I think I want to add another section that represents some work I've done. This could be like a collection of portfolio items or a case study. So let's go back to templates and let's browse through some of the templates to see if there's anything that we think is really cool. Um, I like this one with the device. So I'm going to go ahead and add that. And I'm going to take this over here. That is a new page. Next, I might want to add in a footer. I'll just come over here and I will go back to my layouts. I'm going to look for a footer probably somewhere here at the bottom of these layouts. Yep, here's a cool simple footer. I like that. I'm going to make it small. I'm going to move them up here and just kind of move everything over just a little bit. So now you can see things don't really totally match. All of the styles aren't quite there. So what do we do? Do we have to go through and edit all of these? No, 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 you don't. Here is a very, very cool thing that Canva lets you do. If you go to styles, you can browse through presets of perfectly paired fonts, typography, and color schemes and apply it to everything in this design. So if I click on this and I preview it, look, it has completely changed that style. And I can just click, you know, command Z to undo if I don't like it. So I can just kind of try these different colors out, these different styles, and it will apply it to that section. I can also select something. And then if I really like it, I can apply it to all of the pages and by pages again, they mean sections. So I'm just kind of going through here and previewing some things and seeing if there's anything that I really like and trying it out. Okay. So for now I'm going to leave this as is, but what I will do is look for something to make my background a little more interesting in the background section. I want to look for a gradient and I'm going to look for something that has some movement. So what I want is an actual video background gradient, which they have. So I'm going to click on the videos tab and now I can browse through some of the background video options. This gradient video at the top looks really nice. So I'm going to just drag this into my canvas and it's going to insert it as a background. And you can see how the gradient colors are just swirling around and it looks really dynamic. So some of these are going to be pro features and I've been a happy paying pro user of Canva for years now. So I highly recommend it if you are interested in getting some of the higher quality assets that are available and you can sign up with the link in the description. One of the hidden features that is completely unique unique to Canva is this ability to record a little video of yourself and embed it in your website. So you just click on record under the videos tab, and then it brings up this screen where you can select your camera, your audio device. And here I am just recording myself. And then I'm going to stop this recording and then I can embed that into the website. Okay. So now we can preview our website before we publish it. So everything looks good. Um, if we want to add a navigation, we have to make sure to add page titles to the sections. So I'm going to make sure with navigation is selected and then I'm going to click on edit design and then I'll click on the section and see this little icon when you hover it, it says add notes, click on that and then you can title the page. So this one will be home and then we're just going to go through and do that for all of this, the page sections. Okay. So now we click on preview. You can see here these anchor navigation items take us to the different sections. We can also preview this on mobile so you can see it's fully responsive. Look at how cute everything looks. And now the fun part is publishing this to the web. So you just come over here, click on publish to the web 
and then you can have this add a navigation and that's just anchor links to the sections of your page that you've added. And then you can publish that to a free domain. So that will be a Canva domain. You can purchase a new one or you can use an existing domain. So I'm gonna go ahead and publish that to the free domain with a navigation and click continue. And then I can enter my subdomain. So I'm just gonna put my name for example and that will be elizabethalley.mycanva.site and then continue. And then you can write in a description. You can even password protect this. This is great if you have some maybe portfolio or one portfolio case study that you wanna create and just have that password protected. And then click publish. Okay, and then I can copy this link and then view my website. What's magical about this is you can probably think of so many different use cases for an individual case study for a um, link tree type site for a one-off product landing page anything like that it's very convenient um, especially if you link up your own domain name this is a powerful little site builder right within canva that many people don't know about so i hope you'll give it a try and let me know if you do in the comments